Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I just finished a pair of linen pants and I put up the hem 100% by machine. Now, I did not top stitch, I did a hem stitch, and it looks like it has been hand done. I promise you, it's easy and it's all done by the machine. Let me show you how it worked and how it looks. I did make a wide leg pair of linen pants, and you can see that the hem is done but you don't see any of the stitching. So it does look like it's been hand stitched, but it hasn't. It has been machine stitched. So I did serge that edge so it had a nice finish, and then I did a hem stitch on the sewing machine. So it is stitched together with the machine, but you don't see any of that stitching at all. I did already finish this pair of pants, but I'm going to show you a sample with some fabric and some odd color thread so you're going to be able to see how it's done. But when you do hem your pants normally, please use a thread that matches in the bobbin in the top as close as you can. But to show you how this is going to work, I'm not going to use matching thread. I'm going to use this pinked edge or the zigzagged edge as the hem but you can do a serged edge right along here. Now when I mark the hem on my pants, I double what the measurement should be. If I'm putting the hem up two inches, I mark the back four inches. So I want a two inch hem, I'm doing it four. If you want a one inch, you're going to do two. You just need to double that measurement. Now I'm going to take that hem and bring it up to the line and that gives me that two inch measurement. So that way I have no markings at all on the right side of the fabric. And I do use something that will wash out or fade out. You can press at this stage, but I don't press until I'm totally done. The pants do have the side seam, so let me put a seam in here. So it really duplicates what pants would look like. So this would be the bottom of my pant or my skirt. I've done my double measurement. Now I'm just going to pin, matching up those side seams together. And I put the pins along the bottom. I go around, I match that, and I put the pins right along the bottom. And that way they're not in my way when I get to the sewing machine. So that hem is just pinned up. From here, the rest is going to be done by the sewing machine. The first thing I want to do is be able to expose that free arm. And that way that hem is going to be able to go all the way around without an issue. The next thing I'm going to do is put a basting stitch to hold this up so I can take out the pins. Now on my Bernina 790, the basting stitch is number 21. It does a big stitch and a little stitch. If you don't have a Bernina, I would definitely check and see if your machine has a basting stitch because it is an awesome stitch to learn to use. So I'm going to baste this hem down and just to make it easy, I'm just going to use the measurement of the side of my foot. And it won't matter where I start because that basting stitch will come out. This is definitely a fun stitch. It's going to do a big stitch and a small one. I'm just following that edge and I'm going to go all the way around. So when we look at that stitch, I have a large one, a little one, and a large one. So this is going to be very easy to come out. Now I can remove those pins. The foot that I'm going to use is called a blind stitch foot. It has an opening so that the zigzag can accommodate, but it has this little bar. So the fold of the fabric will run right against this bar. This other side will be where that straight stitch is going to go. So we're going to have a straight stitch, then a zigzag. But let me show you a picture of what the stitch looks like. So it's a couple of stitches and a zigzag. A couple of stitches and a zigzag. 
So what's going to happen are those couple of stitches are going to run along the edge of the pants where we've done that finished stitch. That one little zigzag's going to catch just a little piece of that fabric. And it's going to stitch, catch, stitch, and catch. So you're looking for a stitch that will be able to do this. And most machines do have it. So I'm going to, so I'm going to put my foot on. And I would recommend testing this out on a scrap piece of fabric so that you can adjust the width and the length that works good for your fabric and good for that hem. Working with the pants so that it's inside out and it's going to go along the arm this way, we're going to be able to fold in. So you're going to fold that whole hem inside. So what we want is a little bit of that edge plus a fold. So this little bar that fits inside of that foot is going to run along that fold. So we're going to stitch along that outside and then that zigzag is going to catch right inside of that fold. So the idea is for it to catch only maybe two threads. And that's why it's good to test a piece of fabric before you get to your actual pants. So we're going to have the straight stitch and then it's going to catch along that fold. Straight stitch, catch. Straight stitch, catch. You can see how that fold is just running right along that little bar here in the center. So I do have that basting there and it's going to run right along that seam. When you're finished, it looks like you have this little decorative stitch. But when you open it up, that little zigzag part catches the front. So that little stitch right there is that zigzag. And that basting stitch is going to be able to come right out. And all you're going to have on the top of the pants right there are those tiny little stitches. And that's what you're looking at from the back side. And you can see where it fits right inside of that little opening. Once that hem stitch has been done, I'll take out the basting stitch and then press it. Now, of course, you're going to be able to use matching thread. And when you use that matching thread, you don't see those stitches at all. I do recommend testing a piece first so that you can get that proper measurement. You might need to adjust the width or the length for that stitch on your machine. And it is called a blind stitch. So if you look in your manual, you'll be able to find that blind stitch. And every machine that I know of comes with the blind stitch. And you can get that foot. And it probably came with the machine. And that's definitely a quick way to put up a hem for a pair of pants or a skirt. And it doesn't have to be homemade. You can always put up store-bought pants and skirts that way too. Just be sure to use matching thread in the bobbin and in the top. And that is my cheating way of making my pants look like they're hand-stitched. And I do hope you enjoyed today's episode on how to hem your pants with the machine. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I'll put some links in the description for you. And as always, thank you for joining me. Bye for now.